Welcome back to One Piece Anime Review, episode number 364. We're here viewing the newest episode of the series, episode number 1118, Holy and Turmoil, Termit, Sai and Leo's full blow power. This covers the entirety of chapter 1083. And I do mean the entire, actually 84. Yeah, this is like third episode in a row where they cover a whole chapter. Now, I do have a theory of why. You see, this kind of started with, I think, like episode like 1015. Where they're like adapting like a full chapter, but also expanding upon it. Actually, more like, I think like a thousand, I think for the past three episodes they've been doing this where they've been just adapting full chapters yes yeah for the past three episodes they've been adapting full chapters this is kind of surprising given the fact that how the anime has done it for the longest time where they just split the chapters in half and adapt some here adapt some there Yeah, as for why in the world doing this for, I don't know. I mean, with the most recent episode being 1018. <clears throat> and if you're curious, though, like, with this episode, like, how many chapters have to be adapted? There is, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40... Roughly 42 chapters. Which, okay. I'm not sure what's going to work for next week, but here, here's what happens over the course of this episode. So, after the recap, Sava has the keys to the slave collars, beats some guards, and then, well, well, basically, and then when he's running the hallway, probably trying to find, get, the, get the Kuma, he runs the body. Actually, when he leaves, they actually added this in here. Or Bonnie basically just sees Bonnie, which this is this is like so much additions here. So she's like, she, she's he's like you know he like he knows exactly who she is because she's famous. So basically, look for the same thing, getting Kuma, and of course he gives Katsuru basically the keys to slave collars, while he gets her out of the castle. But they also have where he hears guards coming, so he proceeds to pick her up bridal style, jump up on top of this like archway and have to there for a bit and eventually they get outside I mentioned about this lost chamber and the fact this one tower the amount of guards in this tower has been reduced twice recently as the reason for this they don't really say and pretty much that while this is going on here where Carlos has proceeded to try to kidnap Sir Hoshi again like he did in the memory arc and he actually chains her up. And Kuma's there. And of course, basically, her brothers are not happy with this. But luck enough, basically, Marjo basically holds back long enough for Sai and Leo to beat the crap out of him cartoon style. Basically, kick him really hard in the head, like, bam, playing right through the freaking ground, squishing his head, and presumably killing him. His father, of course, being upset. They do they do kind of free Sir Hoshi. And. What happens to Kuma? Well, Marley, uh, Morley proceeds to op move the ground, grab Kuma, and go underground. And that's it for that. Then we get to the more interesting scene here, where Cobra is meeting with the five elder idiots. Because that's what I call them. The, he meets with them, and he, uh, he basically tells a story that's been kind of there uh, for the longest time. About the, tw the 20, no, the 20, these 20 royals who basically have formed the world government and the fact that all but one family decided to stay there that being an FT family later two decided to return home but not stay there and mentions there's and by the way he enters the room and he's we see really he sees the empty throne he is shocked to see this thing now he is the second person aside from the elders who actually have seen this room the only person who's seen it is Sabo's brother, his biological brother, 
Yes. He's like, oh, can I sit there? He's like, no, but get sent in the throne. He's allowed to see it, but he can't be there. So he asks about, like, what happened to Lily. And he, they, of course, they, they do agree. That's the true, that she did not stay. But as what happened to her, they don't know. While this conversation we, we see in the other, we see Imu listen to this, and we come back to him later, and Imu has left the room. Yes. So then, of course, basically, he asks about the, he asks about D. What is it? And of course, they say, can you please leave? And he keeps asking about it, and then he sees Imu for the first time. Making him, aside from the elders, one of like two people who've seen Emu. And we see a sequence of like we hear these footsteps, and then we see Emu walk up these steps, and then proceeds to sit on the empty throne and speaks for the first time ever in the anime, and all this person says is Lily. End of the episode right there. I'm like, damn. This episode was so good. I like all the, the extensions they did here. Like, everything in here was done really, really well. And I can't wait for the next episode to air next week. Alright, so moving on to the the manga. Chapter 1025. This one definitely feels like either an epilogue or just pretty much wrapping up this, this arc. Because I don't know when they're going to start the next arc. But here we go. So, this chapter is called... 2025, what death means. The cover image is from I mean, Ogre Chago Yamato's Golden Harvest Circuit Primage, Volume 13, Rebuilding of the o Rebuilding of Odin Castle and, and Foreman Memento's Disappearance. Yeah, he has disappeared for some reason. It is interesting they're rebuilding Odin's castle long after Kaido has been defeated. Yeah, Kaido's been defeated at this point for, for a little while now, and now they're building the castle? Interesting. So, chapter opens up basically where, like, basically telling the Cerebs, like, get the Cerebs to ships and the charged up. And CB's weapons, PX-35. Marvel Chikaku, we're saucy. And he says, I killed her. What? And the same side was like, now we came for York Punk Records, the power plant was beginning to mutter flame. A fire would never go out. The present moment, was because, however, we are sorry, sir. There were nine of us, vice admirals, executed Buster Hall, and yet we will tell us right a crew and jump on you. We'll go down life. We'll go straight after to Elbath. And he's like, don't bother with Elbath. If there was a failure uh, here at the blame, it was a cluster uh, to envision. Vegapunk's broadcast message. And we feel to stop that. There's a bit of irony. He, the pirates, the pirates' escape was aided by the Iron Giant. And apparently, it's stated about 200 years ago. Apparently, he knew this Iron Giant, which is interesting, implying he's over 200 years old. And then. And of course, basically, the same side we see is a soldier turning to serve as the government. It's, if you can see his failure, that's just vacant for same as true. And he looks at me, of course, he starts bleeding. And then York's like, Get the medical team, Vice Admiral! Like, and uh, York's like, Oh no! The uh, the iron clouds are multiplying. The, the claw pan's gone control. It's Edison! He must be dead! In the fire phase. Try shooting it. Like, oops, busted. And it's like, damn it, he tricked me. There he goes with punk records. Yeah, part of it. Yeah, and then, like, what does it mean? Big punch are true? I was saying, and of course, they mentioned, oh, yeah, the food. Yeah, it's like, yeah, and by the way, they're now feeling the effects of the, the food was being destroyed now at this point. Like, not enough. I crossed a bee for dinner. What is this? What's this fish for? Forgive my lord, ran out of I've never been so humiliated. I of course he looked like he shoots him. We have a serious food shortage. Yesterday I was forced to forego one of my meals and a snack. A what a prison's eye? It's a famine, we'll all starve. 
Whoever's in charge of food to death. Mismanagement. There's no punish for if there's no punish for lower classes. Legally, it's acceptable. And then the chamber, and and we see the chamber of the elders, like, and, and of course, Garling is here, like, what are you doing here, Garling? I am here on important orders. Or from whom? Where is this proper ordinance? Wait, wait, where is your proper ordinance, Garling? Know your place. Hmm? Vegapunk York is henceforth my direct supportant, as I assume the role of the of Godhead of Science Defense. You mean the woman thrown in the chaos, a level 74. Let us do the utmost to improve together, my fellow elders. Yeah, he's now an elder now. Yep. And Vane Saint Southern just dies! Yeah, he has no time to take away from him. I've read the reason why this is because, well, because Luffy got away, so he's no longer mortal. He just dies. And Five Summer Doll sees this. Yeah, and he's dead. Turns the skeleton and dies. And much like it's like, and Great Emu. He's like, Great Emu. Saturn, you allow Joy Boy to escape. Mercy, please. I do not know these powers were so nebulous. Yeah, he dies. So yeah, they kill off one of the long-running characters, one of the elders, Saint Sat Calf Saturn, which is interesting. And he's now bones. And apparently, it's like, and then we see Edison, uh, Atlas, and it's like, so we were able to see the left face. Damn, you blocked us. I'm gonna do research. This week. As far as we're in those bank of said, now we continue our tour of the globe, our leisure. Yes. <clears throat> Anchorage makes it together with the outfits of the paper satellites. Yeah. And they also mentioned that apparently, like, people, the, no one have access to Vega Punk, the, the Vega Punk records, uh, for about 500 years. And then the contact with her. Ooh, this Vega Punk. What do you want? I thought you'd be dead. And we got to Kurpa Kingdom, where, like, history knows, and we see Kurla wiring down stuff. There was a massive war to the first entry, and to use and to use ancient weapons during that war caused the world to sink two hundred meters into the sea. Her to is the one piece became the pirates of the power to their command once more. I can't tell what had to happen. And of course, like we're thinking to see in the chapter ends with the this demands swift resolution will be long before the people of the world begin to fight over safe ground. Interesting. Damn good chapter. Loved it. And I can't wait for the next chapter, which will come out uh, next week. Which, yes, that should be interesting. Mm -hmm. Yep. But yeah, that's particularly a particular view. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and do not hit the like button. Well, next up we have two comment corners, and then I'm calling it night. Okay, next to you. Bye.